They're off for the Tattersall's Musidora. Defensive William Buick just took half a pull aboard Joviality on coming from the stalls. And Ryan Moore seemingly quite keen to make this a decent test aboard Amazing Beauty. And he strides into an early lead from Barefoot Lady against the fence, who's quite keen through the first furlong and a half. Arizona Jewel, Tom Queeley, Pink Cap settling third. And then Way Source, the grey filly on the inside of Joviality. And having got to the front aboard Amazing Beauty, Moore is setting no more than an even tempo with Arizona Jewel reigning up on the outer of Barefoot Lady. They dispute second. And then Joviality and uh, Way Source has not really settled against the fence for Jack Mitchell. She's just taking a bit of a grip, the outsider. But it's a well grouped field of five that heads down towards the final six and a half furlongs, led by one of the three Oaks entries in the race, Amazing Beauty, from Arizona Jewel, the far side. The Nelgwyn winner, Barefoot Lady, against the running red in the hands of the champion jockey, Paul Hannigan. Joviality Green Jacket stalks them fourth, and then a half length to Way Source. Passing through the halfway point, they begin the swing for home. Amazing Beauty tracked through by Arizona Jewel. Barefoot Lady squeezed along. The pace increasing now, and more beginning to wind up the gallop aboard Amazing Beauty. And he trying to shake off the pursuers. Arizona Jewel still poised. Then Barefoot Lady Way Source and Joviality out in the centre of the track. This time they stick towards the far running rail. More becoming more animated aboard Amazing Beauty. Arizona Jewel Pink Cat ranging up to the leader. Then Barefoot Lady with an half length joviality away to the left is closing quickening down to the final two and a half furlongs it's arizona jewel who puts her white face in front barefoot lady though throwing down a stern challenge joviality near side makes a line of three barefoot lady now comes to poke her head in front she's tackled by joviality they stride on from arizona jewel amazing beauty is beaten joviality locking horns with barefoot lady inside the furlong they come joviality by a whisker barefoot lady battling back very bravely under the hannigan drive Jo Joviality being reeled back by Barefoot Lady. Barefoot Lady poking her nose in front. Joviality back for more. Nothing in it. Two fillies flash past the post together in the Musadora. Joviality on the outside of Barefoot Lady. And a line of three for beaten horses in behind as well. Arizona Jewel, Amazing Beauty and Way Source. Photo finish, photo finish. Photo call thriller for the Musadora. Joviality nearest to you. Big bruising filly joviality, diminutive barefoot lady, never giving an inch the far side, battling all the way to the line. The head on will confirm, I'm sure the stewards will have a look, whatever the result. Because joviality lent into barefoot lady, it appeared from the side on angle. Very tight, and if Stuart Machin can't call it, then I shan't either. They start. Five horse widths from the fence, and they end up on the fence. Left joviality, sheepskin noseband, barefoot lady. Here's the result of the finish for first place. First, number four, joviality, joviality wins. Second, and number now three. take a look Third, number five, at whether the drift two, has in any way cost barefoot lady. May well not have done. Well, let's have a look, Nick. We're watching it for the first time. It'd be very interesting first, viewing. Second, number three, Barefoot Lady. Third, number five, Way Source. Fourth, number two, Arizona Jewel. There's no contact. Beauty. But by the same token, there's little doubt that Joviality has carried Barefoot Lady across the course. That's no klaxon has sounded as yet, but I'm sure it will come. I, I think it's pretty difficult to say it didn't especially inconvenience a runner on one on one watch whether it was uh, she was going across well, so let's get the, it's a head as well it's not a nose it's a head i think it's pretty hard to argue that the second didn't have every chance i'm not entirely convinced it was all the fault of the winner that she was going over there and paul hannigan didn't seem inconvenienced in turning in, in trying to ride the filly out i don't know it's uh, it's, it's it's not entirely straightforward but i'm of the view that the winner will probably keep it what about you well, no sounding of, a, of the klaxon as yet, so there may not even be an inquiry.